Welcome back to my channel Sweet Soul Spicy. Today it, the recipe is simple sago. This comes very handy when you have surprise guest or when you are running out of time to prepare any side dish. So let's get started how to prepare this. So to a blender jar I have added around 1 tablespoon of fried gram which we use for chutney and I have added around 3 to 4 green chilies and I added around 2 tablespoons of grated coconut and I am adding salt which is required for the dish and added around 2 tablespoons of water to it for grinding into a fine paste. To a small pressure cooker I have added around 2 tablespoons of grounded oil. You can just add any oil and add the tempering that is 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds cumin seeds or atar. This can be done just in 10 minutes if you have all these ingredients ready at home. So once these tempering gets fluttered then we will add one small onion finely chopped, fry this and add around 5 to 6 curry leaves. If you add more, your dish will be more flavorful. So, you can just add any amount of curry leaves, and uh, you can add, you have to add around one small finely chopped tomato, or you can just even grind this and add a little salt for this to get fried well. Fry this until the onions as well as the tomatoes turn soft. Once after adding that, doing the frying thing, you can just add veggies, any veggies, you can just add even chow chow. Uh, I have added one small potato peeled and it's been diced into small pieces. So add the vegetables, fry this, then I will be adding green peas that is the frozen one you can add any vegetables that is uh, even you can add chow chow or uh, even uh, turnip goes well carrots now I will be adding the grounded paste that is finely grinded one then give a good mix will be not adding any ginger garlic over here so I just added some water to the blender and I have added that to the pressure cooker here and I'll be adding a little uh, that might be a half teaspoon of uh, garam masala if you have any other masalas like kitchen king masala you can add even that too and I have added one spoon of ghee and to give a good colorful uh, presentation I have added just a half teaspoon of turmeric powder and I just mixed it well close the lid and allow this to pressure cook for around two to three whistles then your sago is ready you can use as a side dish for any idli dosa stiffen or even you can use for puris as well I hope you all like this video as well as the recipe. Do try this. If you like this, kindly hit the like button, share, comment and do subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you then in the next video. Thank you and bye bye.